Okay, so here we have the oldest Auto Quest 155 Magnum GT. This is a handover video for it. Just fly around the outside to start off with. This is the fuel, it's diesel. Use your ignition key to unpop that one. There's your AdBlue. AdBlue, you probably need to top up every six to 8,000 miles. There is a warning light comes on the dashboard. If it doesn't come up, don't panic about it too much. Over to the side here, we have the gas bottles. So in there, there's your gas storage. You can fit two smaller bottles in there. Um, there are little vents at the bottom there. Don't block those up because obviously the gas escapes through them if you do have a leak because gas is lighter than air. Moving further along here, this is storage to the underside of the bed. So you've got a bit of outside uh, storage space there. Gain your accessibility so you haven't got to keep popping your bed in the air. And then tucked away at the end there is your outside gas point. Moving round to the rear of the vehicle, we have the bike rack. That simply just pulls down, room for two bikes, up to 60 kilos in total. And obviously if the bikes aren't on there, it simply just pops back up, clips into place, bring the bar down again. At the top, we have the reverse camera, also acts as your rear view mirror. Down the lower part here, that's where your leisure battery is stored. Your mains hook up, which the cable for that is under the bed, and an outside power point. To the side of that, we have the fresh water tank. That slides up, you simply put in a hose pipe, fill it up. When it starts dripping on your toes, you know you've filled it. It is lockable, stop any contamination when it's not in use. To the side of that, we have the cassette toilet. So that simply lifts up, slides out. You bring it round, unscrew the cap. When you're emptying it, you press the orange button there on the top, stops any glug back. Put it back, obviously in reverse. Put the cap back on and it simply just slides back in. Make sure the orange handle is pushed back down and away you go. Moving to the other side of the vehicle. Down the bottom here, we have the fresh water tap. So when you leave in sight, you can simply open that tap over a drain and it allows all the fresh water to drain out. To the side of that, we have the wastewater. So again, same scenario. Moving further along still, that is the outside shower point and the attachment again is inside the vehicle underneath the bed. Right, so moving on to the cab area of the vehicle. Both seats are captain swivel seats. The operation is pull back on that lever there and the, the chair then starts to turn. You may need to slide it backwards and forwards using the little bar at the front of the chair here. The arms are also adjustable. There is a little dial there and that adjusts the height of the arms. The main seat itself on the side of the chair there that is your height adjustment uh, always be sat in the seat when you're trying to adjust that otherwise it shoots up very very fast but that adjusts the front end of the seat that adjusts the rear end of the seat or you can pull both together to try and get more of an even surface at the front here we have a glove box all your documentation for the cab is in there uh, at the top there another box uh, the air conditioning will blow through into this so it actually works as a chiller across here we have the clipboard holder that simply pops up like that there's a locking mechanism there on the side so you can fit in your tablet your mobile phone or whatever lock it into place and away you go to put it away unlock clip both down relock it back up and just push down like that DAB stereo system will hook onto your mobile phone as well uh, which can operate off the steering wheel so you've got your volume mute and the controls there for your mobile phone make a call scroll through the pages and hang up the call it's a six-speed gearbox aircon controls for the fresh air so the bottom dial does the speed and pressure 
the top dial does the hot to your cold. On the other side, bring in your external air, reflow your internal air, and again, set where it's blowing to. Over to the steering wheel, you've got your indicator there at the top, you've got your cruise control and limiter there underneath. Just be very careful, there are a lot of people that turn the cruise control or limit control on by accident when indicating and suddenly the van's only doing 30 mile an hour and they can't get any more speed out of it. Just check first that you haven't knocked that on if that ever occurs. And on the right hand side of the steering wheel is the operation for the window washers. Up here we have the reverse camera so when the, uh, the vehicle is running that works as your rear view mirror and as your reverse camera. At the front of the cab we have the cab blinds simply pinch these together ring them across works the same on the other one and then a magnetic strip holds the pair together to release you just pinch the two together that breaks the magnetic connection and you gently slide them back you have exactly the same on the doors you just pinch together and gently, gently manipulate the shape. And there you go, to release. Back you go, but just be very careful. On the side of the chair, is the little button for the heated seats. That turns your heated seats on and off. And on the right hand side there, we also have the handbrake. Okay. Okay, so we've got the bed conversion here. So your little sofas here convert into a bed. You simply lift, slide that out. The other side does the same. And then you just slide out the seat cushions and you sleep on the rear side. It does state on there, sleep this side. That is the side that you actually sleep on. And to put them back, you do the same in reverse. Slides in. Lift him up, slide him back. Same here, lift him up, slide him back. I've took the cushions off of this just to demonstrate how the underside seat works. So with that, you lift it up. You've got two little catches, one each side. Push down, and that pops into place there. The seat here, pull the lever, you bring him out flat. the lever, bring it up straight and then the seat pad just swings round and hooks in underneath. You can then operate your seat belt as normal, proper three point restraint. Fold it back, do the same in reverse, lift the seat pad, gently slide it round, lift up your lever, Folding down flat, pull the other lever, and it flies all the way back over. Lift, pull down, and then replace cushions. Okay, so moving on to the kitchen. Here we have the microwave. Simply pop open the door. The microwave tray is in one of the cupboards, just to stop the vibration while you're in transit. Power it on set your timer and away you go. You can do more in-depth stuff, you know, with weights and defrosting. I suggest you check the manual for further instructions on that. And the other side of this door is the plug and obviously the tray and your grill plate. The doors, they operate by pushing down to open and they will automatically spring back to relock. Down here, we have the sink. Move the tap across. Lift to turn the water on, swivel left for your hot, right for your cold, is colour indicated and on the top of the tap also has H and C. When you're in transit again, move it back, lower the glass carefully. Below the sink we have the fridge freezer. Push the buttons to open, away it goes. Pop close again. 
Now the fridge freezer will work off of the mains. Leisure battery. It only works off the leisure battery if the keys are in the ignition and the engine is running. It's basically acting as a chiller cabinet to get you from A to B and stop all your food from going off while in transit. Below, gas. To activate the gas, you push in, press your ignition, and then your little dial will spring across onto green. So, again with that, sorry. Push and hold. Press to ignite, and if it, if it is activated, that will go across onto the green. And then, obviously, when you're traveling, just set back to your leisure battery, or off. All the drawers, they operate push button. So you push in to release the lock, and then pull the door open. And again, push back to relock. The oven, the oven works off of the gas and electric. So the rear one there is your electric. The rest of them are gas to light. Again, simply push in, holding down, pressure ignition. Once you see the flame, leave it for a couple of seconds before you slowly let out the button. If it stays lit, happy days. If it goes out, just repeat the process, but hold it in a little bit longer. Same with the grill, and same with the oven. Moving over to the bathroom. So, in the bathroom, we have the sink there. Push the button in, that lowers the sink. Bring your tap round again. Same process as the one in the kitchen. When, obviously, there's your plug hole for it. Some of them are lift and tilt for the sink unit, but this one has got a proper plug. And again, to lock it, behind here, more storage space. The toilet does have a bit of rotation to it. The electric flush is over in the corner there. And you switch on the front there open and closes the toilet vent. So if the toilet vent is open, you won't be able to remove your toilet cartridge. If it's closed, you can. Shower screen there. There's two little catches to push to the side to release the shower screen. That will then pop open and that just separates your toilet system so none of the, your toilet roll or your towels get wet. And again, same hot and cold water system down there. Now we'll put removable, air vent available. Okay, so over here you have your main control panel. Button here turns on your 12 volt system. There turns on your lights inside. And that one turns on your lights on the outside. The inside light, once that's on, all the lights will work independently via various switches. This one here is your master main. Press this button here, that tells you how much leisure battery you've got. And this is for your water tank. At the moment it's not showing anything because it's empty. Below we have the heat heating controls for the water and for the heater. So again, press your water heater on. You can then set your temperature and whether you want it to run off of gas, it will the more you press it, we haven't got any electric plugged into here at the moment, but as you press it, that will come up with a, a, an electric symbol, two electric symbols, and a gas and electric. So you can either have gas on its own, electric on its own, or gas and electric mixed. Same with the heating, you simply press that, set your heat, and set whether you want it to run off a of gas, gas and electric, gas electric on its own. Okay, power off. Underneath the sink here is your drain valve. It's the little yellow valve there at the back. So when you finally put the van away for winter, you need to turn that valve, 
turn your blue and grey tap outside and turn on all your taps inside. That will completely drain the system ready for the winterization.